At the beginning of the film, we are shown a dense forest. As the group walks, they pass by a broken fire tower. On a piece of broken wood from the tower, a beautiful locket is lying, which one of the group members picks up, unaware that this locket will bring danger upon them. As they proceed with the locket, the ground suddenly begins to shake, and a monster resembling a human emerges frighteningly from beneath the earth. This monster had been sleeping underground because of the locket. Now, since the locket is no longer with him, he angrily sets out into the forest to retrieve it. As the monster wanders, he comes across the carcass of an animal trapped near a tree, where a camera is also mounted. This sight suggests to the monster that someone might be nearby. Just then, he hears a car horn from the direction of two houses, where two people are arguing. One is a forest officer, and the other is a local resident. The forest officer scolds the man, warning that fewer traps should be set in the forest, as they could endanger tourists. Meanwhile, the monster keeps moving towards them while they continue their argument, unaware of the danger. After the forest officer leaves, the resident grabs a gun from his house and steps outside. However, the monster enters his house, and upon entering, he sees a locket. The monster also notices a shadow in the mirror, which is actually an illusion. He recalls his father giving him his mother's locket, telling him never to lose it. We then understand why this locket is so important to the monster and why he was sleeping because of it. Before the monster could retrieve the locket, the homeowner returns. Upon seeing the monster, he is terrified, paralyzed by fear, as the monster looks menacing. Until now, the film hasn't revealed the monster's full appearance. The man, unable to react due to his fear, is disarmed by the monster and runs into the forest, trying to escape. The monster follows him at a slow pace. Unfortunately, the man gets caught in one of his traps. The monster, not bothering to catch him, brutally tears the man's face apart with his red bloodied hands, killing him. Upon returning to the house, the monster realizes that the locket he found wasn't his. Realizing he had killed an innocent man for nothing, the monster sets off to find his own locket in the forest. As he wanders through the forest, we see the mutilated body of the man, whom the monster had torn into pieces and scattered. On his way out of the forest, the monster notices a group of friends by the roadside, the same group we saw at the beginning of the film. They are laughing and having fun, unaware that someone is watching them. Instead of attacking them immediately, the monster hides in the bushes and listens as they talk about him. The monster's name is revealed to be John, Everyone in the local area knew John's story, but they were afraid to talk about it. However, one of the boys in the group, Aaron, had heard the story from his uncle. Seventy years ago, John was born, but he had a mental condition that left his mind as that of a five-year-old, despite growing physically. The local people disliked John's father, and anyone who was angry with his father would take it out on John, as he couldn't retaliate. John loved playing with toy cars, and one day, while playing, a man passing by accidentally stepped on one of his cars, causing him to fall and break his leg. The man couldn't work for months due to his injury, and John was blamed for it. In retaliation, the villagers devised a plan. They told John they had found a bag of toy cars at the fire tower and invited him to come at night to retrieve it. John, believing them, went to the fire tower that night. There, instead of finding toy cars, he encountered a man wearing a firefighter's mask trying to scare him. Terrified, John accidentally fell from the fire tower, breaking his neck and dying instantly. Seeing John dead, the group responsible for the prank panicked, fearing they would go to jail. To cover up the incident, they dressed John in the firefighter's mask and spread the story that he had been playing on the fire tower and accidentally fell to his death. Everyone in the village believed this story, except John's father, who knew something was wrong. When he confronted the group, they brutally beat him to death as well. The matter was hushed up, and over time, the villagers forgot about it, but John didn't. A week after his father's death, John rose from the grave for the first time, seeking revenge on those who wronged him and his father. The destruction John caused was unstoppable. He was only put to rest when someone found the locket and returned it to him, putting him back to sleep. Now, with the locket once again separated from John, he has risen a third time to retrieve it. After finishing the story, the group takes a selfie before heading to their cabin, 
unaware that John is still watching them. Sometime later, Aaron steps out of the cabin, only to be attacked by John. John grabs a stick, rams it into Aaron's mouth, and pulls so hard that the top half of Aaron's head is separated from his body. Using Aaron's head, John smashes a cabin and finds some items, including a firefighter's mask, a firefighter's uniform, and an axe. Wearing the uniform, he heads out. By morning, John reaches a stream where two girls from Aaron's group are present. One dives into the water, while the other practices yoga nearby. John jumps into the water, grabs the swimming girl, and kills her. Then, he crosses to the other side of the stream, where the girl practicing yoga is, and hooks her spine with a hook, pulling it out. The girl is obviously dead, as no one could survive such a brutal attack. However, John is still not satisfied. He further desecrates the girl's body by pulling her head through the hole in her spine, distorting her body. Meanwhile, two boys from the group are arguing, confused about the disappearance of their friends. One suggests going to the ranger station to report it, but the other doesn't like the idea. During the argument, their car keys fall into the bushes, right in front of John. The keychain has a toy car attached, which John picks up and starts playing with. One of the boys questions if this could be John's doing. Hearing his name, John becomes enraged and reveals himself. He throws his ax, hitting one boy's leg. The other boy pulls the ax out, trying to save his friend, but John is already too close. The boy tries to shoot John with a gun, temporarily knocking him down, but John, who isn't truly alive, gets back up and hurls the ax again, this time hitting the other boy in the head, killing him instantly. He then crushes the second boy's face with a large stone. After killing both, John searches their pockets but doesn't find his locket. As John contemplates where to find his locket, he notices two more people from the group approaching, and they have the locket. John picks up the axe, intending to decapitate the girl and retrieve his locket. Before he can attack, the other boy sees John and the girl quickly drags her friend away. They start their bike and race out of the forest, with John slowly following them. The ranger sees the locket around the boy's neck and scolds the girl, saying, why did you take the locket? Don't pick up things from unknown places. You've taken the locket, which means John is alive. I've given this locket to John before, and so did my father before me. And now I think I have to give it back again. The girls say they'll return the locket to John, but the ranger mocks them, asking if John is their friend who'll just hand the locket back. By now it's night, and John has reached the ranger station. As soon as the ranger sees John, he shoots him and takes him back to his grave, intending to put him to rest again. But the plan goes awry when John regains consciousness and overpowers them. He attacks the ranger, and the boy and girl run for their lives, but this time, John doesn't chase them. He first has to settle the score with the ranger, John hooks the ranger's spine and pulls it out, then takes him to his room, where he cuts off the ranger's hand with the machine, the same hand that once put John to sleep. Finally, John decapitates the ranger, completely finishing him off. After killing the ranger, John resumes his pursuit of the others. Upon reaching the forest, John realizes that the group had set a trap for him. The boy from the group tries to bait John, but before they can execute their plan, John attacks him with an ax, bringing him down and giving John the opportunity to brutally finish him. John easily eliminates all his targets. He repeatedly strikes the boy with his ax as if to chop him into a thousand pieces. Seeing this, the girl is terrified. She still has John's locket, which she places in a box before fleeing. She runs frantically, trying to escape, but somehow the place seems like a maze. And no matter where she goes, John always appears in front of her, repeatedly attacking her friend with the ax. Finally, after much thought, the girl regains control of her mind and finds a new path to escape. She eventually reaches a road and is lucky enough to get a lift from a passing car. Noticing her anxiety, the driver asked, what happened? She replied, nothing. I just saw a very scary creature. The driver responded, I understand. People often get scared like that. Once my brother saw a terrifying bear that attacked him, but luckily he survived. His words hinted that his brother might have encountered John. Meanwhile, she noticed that the girl sitting next to her was fainting. The driver bandaged her while she anxiously kept glancing towards the forest, fearing that John might come and kill them. However, that didn't happen. 
We then see John in the forest, who has found his locket. After taking it, he leaves. <laughs>